What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Yasmin Lopez and today I'm back with another video. I'm trying to be consistent with you all and keep everything, you know, moving. Uh, I did notice that I have a lot of female subscribers that are coming in slowly but surely. So I figured I would do a video catered to you all. I get lots of questions. Okay, I gotta get comfortable. I get lots of questions on um, Instagram, on my social media, asking me, you know, how I keep it smooth down there. A lot of my pictures are a little revealing. Sorry, mom. But they are revealing. Um, I have bikinis on, tighter clothing, you know, shorts, things like that. Showing a lot of skin. That's the point. So, um, I get questions asking me how I'm keeping everything smooth. I just now did do a lingerie um, post with um, working with Facet. And a lot of people were like, oh my God, how did you keep everything so smooth? Girl, in this video, I'm going to let you in on a few of my tips and tricks to keep everything. I mean everything, A1. So, if you want to keep watching, keep watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And girl... Let's get into this. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I would like to recommend for, I'm gonna let y'all know, the insider, I'm gonna be looking at my phone because I am very forgetful and I'm always forgetting stuff and I don't wanna forget anything. I'm trying to give y'all everything, all the tips and tricks, cause y'all need this, the thing right there, this will be A1. I love, listen, I love my kitty cat. <laughs> but the first thing, my favorite thing I'm going to recommend, step one is using my best friend right here, Eden. My friend actually make, makes this out of her kitchen. Y'all, it's all natural ingredients. She's from Houston, and I'm not even just promoting her because my friend, but this stuff actually works. What I do is I spray about five. Everybody's always texting me when I'm trying to do a video. But what I do is I spray about five to six squirts down there. Um, and you wanna make sure you get in everything because you'll, you'll just see the difference. And all the products, again, are natural. Um, the benefits of this product are it's antifungal, it restores pH, um, it has includes probiotics, it fights candida, which is also known as yeast. And it also prevents and eliminates any type of odors that you may be experiencing and refreshes and rejuvenates. My favorite time to use this is during my period, even though I do use this like all the time because I see a difference. I've definitely seen a difference in everything, just the way my body reacts to it. I just feel fresh all the time. So I will have um, her Instagram down below for y'all to go purchase this. And I promise this is something that you really want to get like feminine hygiene cleanser and it's all natural Woo. okay next thing them number two what i would like to recommend to you all is um laser hair removal i do a lot of like photo shoots and i wear a lot of clothing that might be considered promiscuous such as bikinis you know shorts things like that that you want to make sure that your skin is popping 24 7 you don't want any razor bumps you don't want any hair you don't want anything like that so laser hair removal i work with urban skin solutions crazy right now guys but I just got finished doing my first treatment for my underarm area and then we did the Brazilian she was in my booty okay Hello. it didn't hurt at all I mean a little bit of pain but it's definitely worth it so you want to check out Charlotte Urban Skin Solutions I'm going to tag them right here make sure y'all go and check them out right now and she, what, what's your name Takoya Takoya make sure that you come to her when you get here either her or her so I would recommend going to them uh, they make me feel super comfortable when I go there as well. What they do, I'm working on getting my whole body done. Right now I just did my underarms, but I am in the process of doing my laser Brazilian treatments. So I have like eight or nine treatments to go through. Y'all, I'm hairy. I'm Spanish, so I just have to deal with that and take care of it. But um, before I did do laser, I did use razors. And you wanna make sure you get a good shaving cream because you don't want to just be shaving. When I was little, I remember I would just grab like some water and some soap and just, you know, shave what I seen when I seen here. So, uh, but if you do use razors, I would recommend y'all using men's razors. I like Gillette. Uh, I've tried electric ones, but I think the Gillette razors work the best and are the most efficient. So yeah, men's razors really do work. The laser, I would just recommend that because it's long term. It is a little painful. It depends on your tolerance. But I think that y'all should get it done, especially down there, because nobody wants to have to shave it all the time, especially during, you know, like summertime, things like that. So I've done my bikini, not just my bikini, I did a full Brazilian down there, like your butt crack, everything like that. <laughs> butt crack, they open it up, they get everything. So I have no hair down there right now, and I'm only on my second treatment. I have like a total of eight treatments that I need to get done. So yeah, it's, it's worth my while. Step three, I would say, to sleep naked, okay? I love being naked. I walk around my house naked. My friends, just, they come over and they just see, wow, you're naked. <laughs> I'm joking, no, I'm not joking. But um, when you sleep naked, it's on my lip. Let me look, it's on my lip. No, it's not. This stuff right here is coming off the bottle because I use it every single day. 
like the wrapping part so i'm gonna try to get it off but i would recommend sleeping naked because when you sleep naked you're airing everything out and you're giving your body that time to breathe i sleep naked i usually put a pillow in between my legs but sometimes when i'm just feeling real fresh and i just want to you know it just happens naturally i have a fan in my room above but i also have an extra fan so like i'll lay there and just have the fan just blowing on me and it just refreshes everything and it makes especially like you know wearing tight clothing a lot wearing tight clothing is not good but i i, I wear tight clothing i'm small I like shows my curves but you know you gotta do it and take care of yourself as well because tight clothing if sometimes if your clothes are too tight uh you can have like smells and odors trapped in that you do not want to have because that ain't cute but sleeping naked will cure all of your problems okay so sleep naked guys uh what's my next one yeah loose clothing cotton underwear is always good i know you want to be sexy or whatever but like try to have cotton underwear because i know victoria's secret has little thongs and silks and stuff but that's not really good for you it's trapping all those odors in and that can cause smells and irritation things like that if you want to get your sexy on for your man go ahead and do that every once in a while but you don't need to have the silk on a silk underwear on every single day i personally don't like wearing underwear but that's just me i like to be free i'm, I'm a free spirited person i like to be free everywhere and listen my, my stuff smells good i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all next thing that i like to do um is vagina steaming it's also called what's it called i'm gonna hold you guys look at my notes it's called v steaming i just got some v steaming done when i was in charlotte north carolina and the v steaming was super healthy it's all natural herbs and what you do you sit on like it's not a toilet but it's like a pot of hot water with lots of natural herbs like rosemary basil things like that and it's heat so it's just going on your vagina and it's just steaming it and also if you have kids i would recommend um to Go get the steaming done because it tightens up everything and it um it just makes you feel fresh but it really does tighten up everything because i know when you have kids it just expands and that's not what we want i don't have kids thank god not yet i'm too young for that so i don't want that to happen anytime soon but be steaming is something i would recommend it felt good it was like relaxing and i did with my homegirls too we were sitting on toilets like this girl feel good feel good yeah girl it was actually really fun um, I can, my camera says it wants to die, but don't die yet. Make sure that you're always wiping. Okay, guys, they get to get away. They just want to do a little dibble, dibble, dabble. No, I even tell my little brothers, I'm like, boy, if you don't get in there and wipe something off, always make sure you're wiping front to back. You know, you don't want to just be doing a drizzle. And I, I would also recommend when you go to the bathroom, please do not sit on the toilets, especially like when you're out in public at home. Hopefully your bathroom is clean so you can, uh, you can sit on the toilet. But out in public, I'm always squatting. I don't ever want to sit on the toilet, even with little cover-ups. It's so disgusting. That's a lot of germs in there and things like that. I cannot. Uh, drink a lot of water. Eat fruits. Try to be healthy. Pineapples, fruits, yogurts are really good for you. The Chobanis have lots of um, proteins in them and things like that. And it just helps um, with eliminating smells, odors. It keeps helps you keep a healthy pH balance, things like that. When, try going to the store and looking at the back of the um, yogurts. And you'll see a lot of healthy nutritious facts. Just because the yogurt tastes good, okay? It's, it could be doing some worse for you, okay? I promise you will see a difference. The things that you put inside of your body, they always come out. So if you're eating fishy foods, if you're eating foods that are not that good for you, your body's going to react to it. And it could be reacted negatively. So, you know, what you put in, I love my fish, but I know that that's not something I need to be eating all the time. Pineapple is super fresh. Strawberries are fresh. Like I said, the yogurt. Stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water. Smoothies are really good for you as well, too. I'm telling you, food, food plays a huge role in keeping that kid clean. Okay. Um, what is the next thing? Uh, if you're having sex, please use a condom because all these diseases going around you do not want to catch anything and um, you want to be as safe as possible you do not know what your partner is has going on hopefully you do know okay and if it's your husband you know you don't need these kind of but just try to be healthy and um stay 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 concerned ask your partner what they got going on in their life maybe y'all can both go to the doctor together too to make sure that y'all are both healthy so you know y'all can get busy or whatever but don't just be giving your goods up to everybody and um just no i would condoms condoms and condoms sometimes don't even work so whoever you're being sexually active with i would want to tell you to make sure that you know them make sure it's not just some random dude that you're just giving it up to because uh, people have diseases and some diseases can be permanent okay girl no so the next thing i'm gonna tell you ladies to do is to make sure you're keeping up with your vitamins i'm childish okay i am a child but i'm still childish you know 
but I'm still growing at the same time. I don't know. But I don't like the vitamins that are like the pills, the women's health. I stick to my gummy bear vitamins. They have all the vitamins that I need in there and they keep me healthy. So they keep me up to date with everything that I need. And they taste good too. They're like a little candy. Like I don't like the vitamins I gotta take water and put down my throat. No, I like to just be able to chew on and go on about my day. So make sure you're keeping up with your vitamins because they do help you as well. Next thing I'm gonna just say is warm baths. I love baths and they open up everything they open up your pores they open up down there so when you're just sitting in the hot water it just kind of um allows your vagina to relax and just get the help that it needs that's just how i feel about it i love taking warm baths i feel like it's just like a relaxation it's like a little island that i'm in and like i don't know and then on top of that i'm going to sleep and i get to sleep naked and i'm airing my body out that's just a plus so and when you're in the bathtub try to avoid like bath salts and like bubble bath things because that's not good for your vagina and sometimes like if you do use the wrong soaps those soaps can sometimes like irritate down there and make and they may even cause you to start burning one time i wanted to get fancy and do like a bubble bath and it was the wrong decision because it was hot i was like oh never again in my life would i ever take a bubble bath i just don't don't care for them. i like to just sit in the water maybe throw on some jets and that's that Next thing is I'm um, using a washcloth um, with warm water, whatever your liking is. And use a washcloth and just, you know, you by yourself, open that thing up and just, you know, get get everywhere. Make sure you're washing everything because um, throughout the day there's a lot of bacteria that could get in there, sweat. Um, and depending on what you're wearing, it's going to be, you know, a little hot down there and irritated. Depending on what you have on the day. So I like to just grab a warm washcloth and then um, a warm, clean washcloth. I'm be using the same washcloth every day, ladies, because that can... That can build up different types of bacteria just sitting out and just it won't be good so make sure you have a warm washcloth and you do what you got to do and you should be straight <laughs> the next thing i'm going to say is i already said avoid products that can like irritate your vagina such as like sanitary pads oh speaking of like okay we're gonna talk about periods for your periods i'm not gonna talk a lot about it because i mean it's common sense but um, you should not keep your tampons in for a long period of time you should always change your tampons out i like it when i'm on my period i'll keep I can change my tampons at least five to six times a day. That can be a lot, but like, I don't like, uh, and I know some girls like to wear pads and things like that, but I would not recommend that because you're actually sitting in, you're sitting in the mess. And that's, that's just not cute. Like, I remember my friend, she'd be like, yeah, it's mean, like, I'm scared of putting a tampon. I'm like, when we were in like middle school and uh, I was like, girl, here's the tampon, you know. Make sure you're putting the tampon in properly too because when I was younger, I put the tampon, I had never worn a tampon before and I put the tampon in like with the cardboard. And it was not, I was like, what the heck? This does not feel right. But when you leave those tampons in for a long time, especially like those first days of your period, it can cause a smell. It's just not healthy for your body whatsoever. But, oh, also this is the last thing I'm gonna say is um, if you're buying like new clothing, you know, you're buying undergarments, make sure that you always wash them before you use them because you never know what the person that tried them on at the store might have had because, I mean, I, I would hope people don't really try stuff on like that. I mean, if you're trying to like swimsuits and stuff like that, but I don't know. I, I'm just that person. I don't really like to try stuff on. I like to just get it because I know my size. But you never know. People do like to try things on and you don't know what they have. So always um, wash the clothes that you purchase because you just want to stay safe. Other than that, I mean, your vagina naturally clean, cleanses itself. So all these different tips and tricks and things that I'm talking about in this video are just things that I recommend to help me to keep my thing on fleek. And I don't have no complaints, baby. Okay. So drink your water, eat your fruit, you know. Y'all y'all just watch this video, y'all get the point. But if you like this video, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And ladies, keep that kitty clean. I promise you it's gonna be worth it. I absolutely promise you. Okay. And if you notice this this uh video, I did no makeup. So don't judge me, but my skin is low-key popping right now. So I think the next video is going to be everyday skincare routine. But if you give this video a thumbs up. I will know if that's what you all want. Thank you so much for watching. Keep the kitties clean. Mwah!